What's up, everybody? Happy Magic Monday, and welcome to Magic the Gathering Murder at Karlov Manor Bundle Opening. Today, we're going to be opening this up, see what we get, and then we'll take it from there. I'm a little bit late to this one. We do have Bloomborough dropping in about a week from today, so I will be doing one for next week. But uh, for right now, we're going to see what we get inside of this. You can see 15 traditional foil and regular basic lands. We get the life counter, 14 card packs, uh, 9 14 card packs. Then there's also two reference cards, an alt art traditional foil, uh, Ferox, I guess that is. And then we also get a card box. So let's get straight to it, open this up, and then uh, we'll see what we get, see what we pull from there. I'm really looking forward to uh, the Bloomborough pack opening and i don't have any hack like play boosters i'll be getting but i do have the bundle same thing as this that we'll be able to check out and then it also drops on magic the gathering arena so i'll be checking that out probably tomorrow there we go got this thing that's pretty cool it's a little like uh i guess just a little art piece here is the Hard box that you get I'm looking at that I actually love getting bundles because this this is just such a good way for putting all the cards together and at least getting started sorting them out and everything inside you can see here's the spin dial I've also got this thing which it has all the punch outs in it which I'll probably do at a later time, but you can see that's everything. And now we'll pull the important things. I've actually been playing with a lot of detective decks inside of Magic the Gathering Arena, the online version. It's been pretty cool so far, too. Start out with these guys. So here's that box that it was talking about, looks like. Yeah, it's a Axbane Ferrofox. It has Death Touch and Haste. It's a 4-4, and it's a 4 cost of mana. Collect evidence for whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, counter it unless that player exiles cards with a total mana value of 4 or greater from their graveyard. I've also got a bunch of planes. Islands. See if I can get this together here. Every time I do this, I try to have a little bit more focus on the cards. Because for me, okay, these are all the lands here you can see. Yep, all the lands. All right. Wasn't sure if anything else was going to pop up in there, but that's all right. Um,. But I always try to tweak this a little bit more so that way you can see it better. And uh, it's zoomed in on the cards for a better quality. So today, we've got a little bit more zoom than before. I think these are more lands. Yep, pretty much. I think the other ones had some hollows. These are all just like basic lands. Let me just make sure there was nothing else in here. Yeah, some of these are hollow lands. And then that axe that we saw on the back all right let's get into the play boosters let's start out with the first one see what we got here ah that one came came off so much easier than the last booster pack that i opened up we got felonous rage i've seen this card a ton that's decent extract a confession topari Upari Panther? Defenstrated Phantom. I don't think I've seen this one at all. The 4 3 Flying Disguise. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen that one. Rift Burst Hellion. Sanitation Automation. Slice from the Shadows. Soul Search. Okay. Target. Opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card to exile from it. 
or from it, exile that card. If that card's mana value is one or less, create a 1-1 one, one flying and black spirit creature token with flying. Perimeter Enforcer. I, I love this card. I use this all the time in Magic the Gathering. It's so good. Every time you place down other detectives, it gets plus one, plus one, and it has lifelink. So I've, I've won some games with this card in Magic Arena, which has been a lot of fun. Concealed Weapon. Yurtiv Courier. Coveted Falcon. Ooh, that one's a mythic? Really? Whenever the Falcon attacks, gain control of target for, uh, permanent you own, but don't control. Wait, what? Gain control of target permanent you own, but don't control. Disguise one. When this is turned up, target opponent gains control of any number of target permanents you control. Draw a number for each one they gain control of this way. That is very interesting. I don't know how that's going to work, but sure. Kumala Sentry. Planes. And then the clue token card. Yeah, that one I've never seen before. Oh my god, these open up way easier than the Assassin's Creed one that I did. Seasons Consulate, I've actually used this one a whole ton. Granite Witness, same thing with that one. Red Herring. Airtight, Shady, Informant, huh. It dies, it deals two damage to any target. That one seems pretty cool. Unauthorized exit. Ace file auditor. We've got a dual one. I forget. I don't know what these types of cards are actually called. But it's it's cool how there's like one and the other. I'm guessing you can do either one when you play it. It's just you got to pay the cost. And I don't know what happens to the rest of the card. Does it all completely go into the graveyard? If it has two things on it? Or does like this one go? You can't use this one. I, I don't know. I, I, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm too new uh, to magic to know that part. Candlestick. Case of the Gateway Express. Oops. Little spoiler there. Cryptics. Our mythic right there. Collect evidence. Evidence three. Add one mana of any color. Put an unlock counter on it. Cryptics. Sacrifice Cryptics, survey three, and then draw three cards. Activate only if Cryptics has five or more unlock counter. Okay. All Samir Midnight's Light. That's pretty cool. Legendary. I didn't know that they had, like, elf scouts in this uh, set here. I was thinking it was all going to be, like, detectives and flying creatures and stuff like that. But that's cool. Lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, create... Volja, Fen Stalker, a legendary 5 5 green and white wolf creature token with trample. Whenever a wolf you control attacks, if Cosmir attacks this combat, target creature and opponent controls blocks that wolf this combat if able. Ooh. This, I feel like this would be an awesome commander to have if you had an entire wolf's deck. That actually would be sick. And then you got the art card. Yeah, some of these cards I, I did not know of. Or I haven't actually used them myself in uh, Magic Arena. And like I said, as usual for previous videos, if you guys end up enjoying these two, leaving likes helps me out a ton. If you do have any suggestions, feel free to throw them in because I'm still very new to this. I do this for the fun of it for myself plus i play with these actual cards so none of these have gone to waste uh but yeah i'm probably not gonna i'm probably gonna stick to bundles for the future unless if it's something i really care about for a, a collector booster set or even play booster pack but we'll see rift burst helion oops shock that's a classic one toxin analysis they went this way. Season consultant again. Murder. Nice. That's a, another classic one. Ooh, I kind of like the uh, this is like showcase style to it. Or borderless. 
Zombie Leech. Fester Leech? Huh. Whenever Fester Leech deals combat damage to a player, you mill two cards. Fester Leech gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Activate only once each turn. It doesn't add up. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Suspect it. Curious Cadaver. Cadaver? The zombie detective. Flying. I like the text on this one. That's kind of cool. Whenever a clue, whenever you sacrifice a clue, return to, return Curious Cadaver from your graveyard to your hand. Mistway Spy. Unyielding Gatekeeper. I have this in, I know this is in the Crack the Case deck, which I recently did a playthrough of for Magic Arena. A little Let's Play. But I really don't know the use of this thing. I know when you turn it, of course, obviously reading the card, it tells you what it does. But I just don't know how it can be beneficial. Because typically you would use it on a non-target, on a, another target non land permanent right but then they get two they create a two white and blue detective creature token not terrible i guess i mean i guess if you got rid of a high power card or something it makes sense but i don't know we got granite witness a foil one that's pretty cool that'd be like an etched foil dusk mantle house of shadows Ooh, it's a land Oh, this is a reprint. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what... It, I'm not sure what expansion that's from or what that is, but that is sick. And we've got more tokens here. Not bad. We're getting through these. Nice and easy here. Oh my god, these, these packs open up so much easier than the last ones that I've done. I don't know what they changed with Assassin's Creed. Airtight Alibi. Hazda Vigilante. Old Case Cracker. I've seen that one a lot. Person of Interest. Oh, that was pretty cool. Magnifying Glass. I've also seen this one a lot. Thinking Cap. That one as well. It's fantastic because it gives... It only costs one to equip to detectives, which a lot of these cards are detectives, and it gives you plus one, plus two. Dramatic Accusation. Rune Brand Juggler. That one's cool. Rope. Long Goodbye. Leyline of Guild Pack. Whoa. That's got a lot of different ways you can cast that there. What the heck? If Leyline of the Guild Pack is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. Each non-land permanent you control is all colors. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. What? That's crazy. That is actually insane. And this, all these cards, I'm pretty sure you can play in standard. So that, I mean, if it's, if you get lucky and this is in your opening hand, that is wild. I mean, I, I don't know about early on, but that's still pretty crazy. Sanguine Savior. Maverick Top Terrorist. Top Terrorist? That's another expansion. I like how they add some, like, reprints in here. Or cards from other expansions. That's always really cool. And these art cards are always interesting to look at. So got a few more packs here. Keep it going. Old Case Cracker. Again, Person of Interest. Magnifying Glass. Loxodon Eavesdropper. Museum Nightwatch, Gravestone Strider, The Chase is On, Ace of the Burning Mask, Living Conundrum, Lightning Helix, Sharp-Eyed Rookie, that's the mythic right there, 
Vigilance. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it is power. If its power is greater than Sharp-Eyed Rookie's power or its toughness is greater than Sharp-Eyed Rookie's toughness, put a plus one, plus one counter on Sharp-Eyed shark -eyed Rookie and investigate. It's an artifact with two. Sacrifice this artifact. Draw a card. Huh. I feel like that can be really good in a lot of, a lot of instances, to be honest. Especially if you have low-cost cards. There's another Fester Leech with a little bit of, I guess, an etched foil there. Tragic Slip, a mythic reprint. I think these are reprints. If that's if there's a different term or there's a better term, please let me know. Uh, but it, that's what it seems like since these are all from different expansions. This, from my understanding, target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Morbid, that creature gets minus 13, minus 13 until end of turn. Instead, if a creature died this turn. Whoa, that's crazy. What the? Man. Got some good stuff. This is, honestly, a lot of this is exciting. I've got some of the detective cards that I wanted to get anyway, so these are going to be make for some great decks. Tunnel Tipster. I feel like we're going to be saying a lot of stuff like this soon. Mole Scout. We've got all of Bloomborough, so be ready for that. Inside Source. Dog Walker. Oh, that's pretty cool. He has Vigilance Disguise. When it's turned face up, create two tap. 1-1 one, one white dog creature token. Felonist Rage. Extract a Confession. Undercover Croco Elf. Elf Crocodile Detective. That is very interesting. Deduce. Nice. That one's pretty cool. Knife. Buried in the Garden. Living Conundrum. Torch the Witness. Damn. Damn, no hesitation. Rakdos, Patron of Chaos. Rakdos, the Demon. Flying Trample. At the beginning of your end step, target and opponent may sacrifice two non-land, non-token permanents. If they don't, you draw two cards. Damn, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Innocent Bystander. That's the uh, foil, etch foil there. Island, and then the clue token. Damn. I think this is making for a pretty good pacing right now with how I'm doing these. Because a lot of these cards I'm familiar with, or you can always pause and look at the card and read over it if you'd like. Or if there's any that stick out to me, we, we stop and look. Galvanize, Agency Coroner. Rubble Belt Maverick. I love these detective cards. Cards. I was I read Griffinot. That's why I said cards. <laughs> Not Tracker. Griffinot Tracker. I've seen this one a lot. I use it in a lot of my. Well, it's in Crack the Case. Same thing with Jaded Analyst. Another great one. Defender. Sanguine Savior. Proud Control Warden. Another one of those dual cards. Hustle and bustle. Oh, that's funny. Hustle and bustle. Our creature attack or blocks this turn if able. Creature control gets plus two, plus two, and gains trample until end of turn. Huh. Bay flight. Not on my watch. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. Exile tar target attacking creature. Forensic Research, Doorkeeper Thrall. Wait, was that the Mythic? It was. Oh, I didn't even realize. <laughs> Doorkeeper Thrall. Flash, Flying, Artifacts and Creatures Enter the Battlefield that Don't Cause Abilities to Trigger. I just realized the entire time I haven't had my music on either. So, GG's there. But that's pretty cool. I, I'm not exactly sure what a thrall is, but I think I might have to look into it. Curative Courier. This is the foil. And then Forest. Ooh. And then we've got the art card. Nice. Got a lot of stuff here. 
All right, we got two more to go. This one's going to be a little bit of a quiet video then. No background music. If you guys do prefer or don't prefer background music, let me know. Because that's another thing I haven't really taken feedback on. Rubble Belt, Maverick. Rift Knot Tracker again. Jaded Analyst. Sanguine Savior. Snarling Gorehound. I love these, the dogs that you can get. Slime Against Humanity. Pick Your Poison. Deduce. Lead Pipe. Here we go, another one of these. Push and Pull. I love how they're like very similar to each other. Push, push and Pull. We've also got Hustle and Bustle. Ace File Auditor. Huh. I didn't know about this one. What does it do? When it enters the battlefield, whenever you solve a case, look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal an enchantment card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest of, at the bottom of the library in a random order. You may spend mana as though as if it were a mana of any color to cast a spell. Huh. Barbed Servitor. Ooh, there we go. Indestructible when Barbed Servitor enters the battlefield, suspect it. Whenever a barbed servitor deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card and you lose one life. When it is dealt damage, target opponent loses that much life. Damn. Oh boy. I feel like that can really uh that can really add up. Earbane, orangutan, island, and all right we're on to the final one the final four murders at karlov manor let's see what we got ben thick criminologist yeah a lot of these cards i have not seen before goblin mask maker basilisk stalker vampire detective that's pretty cool Bite down on crime. Inside source again. Fairy Snoop. The fairy detective. On the job. Borderless there. Nice. Sounds pretty cool. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn and investigate. Aftermath analyst. Culvert ambusher. Soul innervation. It's another like borderless one. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Whenever one or more creature cards you uh, leave your graveyard, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Jeez. Fuss and bother. There's a lot of dual cards like that. I, did, I really did not know. Officious interrogation. This one, I'm not, I, I've definitely seen it a lot but I haven't actually used it a lot in practice. Choose any number of target players. Investigate X times where X is the total number of creatures those players control. Okay, never mind. I have used this one. Yeah, I know this one because you can build up tons of investigation cards off the side. Damn. Pretty cool. Macabre Reconstruction. And a land. And finally, last card, the art card. There's some good stuff in here. That is yet another bundle opened up. We've got nine packs. I'm definitely going to be sorting these, seeing whatever kind of decks I can build out of it. And like I said, we've got the Bloom Burrow dropping very, very soon. So I will be doing some openings, the same bundle type as this. Not sure if I'll get a play set for right now. We'll probably do that. Uh, it also drops. Technically, I'm going to post this video today. Um, but tomorrow, July 30th, Bloomborough comes to Magic the Gathering Arena. My goal is to do a few Let's Play videos on either opening packs, creating a deck, or doing like a draft opening if I can. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to spend any actual money for those, but I've been playing Magic, building up my gold waiting and holding that way i can do that so if you guys enjoy this leave a like on it subscribe let me know if you have any suggestions 
as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.